We don't have a system of accountability and I think that's the thing that has ruined aged care. I've been a registered nurse for over 40 years and have worked in aged care and believe me, the system needs change. And the Royal Commission made 148 recommendations and it spans over eight volumes. So I'm here to break it down for you. Here are four key takeaways that were handed down with the Royal Commission. Firstly, we want to treat aged care as a fundamental human right. We need to show some respect for people who are receiving care in, in this system and it's disheartening and it's devastating for people who are in care to be frightened, to not have adequate food, to not be cared for properly, to have complex health problems that go um, unattended, to have people treat them with disdain and disrespect and hostility. The Aged Care Act needs to be taken seriously and seen as a fundamental right. Secondly, we want to value our aged care workers. That comes with training, it comes with proper remuneration, um, it comes with really looking after teams of people who are going to be looking after our aged care population, whether that be in the home or in aged care facilities. Because if we're not looking after people properly and we're having to whiz them off to hospitals and to, for people to end up with complex medical problems that can be rectified very quickly. And the example is I, I call to mind is a friend of mine she was not toileted properly. She ended up with a massive urinary tract infection that went to her kidneys. And this is not an uncommon instance. And then had to have a suprapubic catheter inserted, which she didn't actually need in the first place. She could have just gone to the toilet. We really need some skill in this sector. It's, it's a skilled workforce. It's like a lot of other healthcare. Scott Morrison needs to open up his purse and put money into aged care training for nurses. Thirdly, we want to hold our private providers accountable. We don't have a system of accountability and I think that's the thing that has ruined aged care. The government gives money for nursing care and then it's spent anywhere and we don't know where it's spent. It needs to be spent on the actual nursing care hours, not on, as someone said, holidays to Greece. The Royal Commission recommends there needs to be more oversight for private providers. And I would add, it needs to be direct oversight. Accountability is the key. Finally, invest a lot more money into aged care. I think we need to get our budget back, the budget that was cut previously, and then add some more. I mean, it can't just go into the pockets of people who wish to make a profit. So now our job is holding Scott Morrison accountable for making these changes and for implementing the recommendations of the Royal Commission. Scott Morrison says he's going to adopt the recommendations in the May budget. However, as far as I can see, he's not committed the previous um, billions back into that budget for aged care. So I'm hoping that he reconsiders and he tries to fund aged care as fully as possible.